Now, let's take you to the outskirts of the Federal Capital Territory, where a 23-year-old self-taught technician is addressing the problem in his community. The World Health Organization says about 63 million Nigerians do not have access to improved source of drinking water. Well, this was the problem in Chikuku community before Surajo Ismaila decided to act. What exactly did he do? Just Nigeria's Shewi Dowu brings us a story. Call him a meta fabricator, a programmer, or an entrepreneur. He embodies all. Though not a student of any tertiary institution, 23-year-old Surajo is a self-trained mechanical technician finding solutions to challenges around him with his skills. I was working in a village. Then the next day, we are going to find to pack granite. And I say, oh, I'm feeling headache. I can't carry granite on my head. What if this man should give us pickup? It could be easy for us. And I build a little pickup. They are now using a million to build it. And I went for exhibition. And I came first. Suraj grew up in Chikuku, a small town three hours' drive from Abuja, the Nigerian capital. Like in many rural areas in the country, there is no access to pipe bomb water here. So the villagers scavenge for water from a few boreholes. I used to go and fetch water at the road under hot sun. I am happy he made the trucks. If I need water, I call him on the phone and he brings water for me. Moving from, from this, uh, this apartment to, to the borehole, carrying uh, gallons or big basins on, on, on our heads were not easy for us. A UN and WHO report on drinking water, sanitation and hygiene between 2000 and 2017 finds that while a significant progress has been made toward achieving universal access to basic water, there are huge gaps in the quality of services provided. This gap is evidently wide in Suraj's village, prompting him to find a way to help out. I was sitting down. People was, one woman was coming with a basin to fetch water all the way from far place. They are not think, what if I should build a truck? It would be more easier. And I went to Babambola to look for scrap of irons. Then I looked for a motorcycle engine. It took me two years based on finance. The, the truck is helping us in this environment here. Even though when we are sick, we call him and he help us out in fresh water for us. The stress, the stress has been minimal, not unlike before, you know, when there was a the tricycle. Despite Suraj's intervention and the relief he has brought to Chikuku, he is seeking more effective and sustainable ways to provide portable water to his people. Right now, I'm in the school. I don't have who will monitor the water supply, the truck. And I think, what if I should be smart control? Once you come to the tap, you put your card, it on the water. If your card is not registered, it won't on the water to tell you access denied. Studies show that one of the major challenges with intervention projects in many communities in Africa is sustainability. With the application of smart card technology, perhaps, Surajo might be able to circumvent the sustainability challenge and give his innovation a long-lasting impact. Sheung Ido, Just Nigeria. Wow. Thank you, Surajo, for your innovation. There's more to come here on Just Nigeria, brought to you by the BBC and Channels Television. Farmers in Taraba states fear flooding and insecurity could plunge Nigeria into a food crisis. We bring you that story and more after the break. Do stay with us.